one and Pastor Steve here. This is from my daily reading, 1 King 8, 39-42. Then hear you in heaven the, thy dwelling place, and forgive and do and give to every man according to his ways, whose heart you know. For thou, even thou only, knowest the hearts of all the children of men, that they may fear thee all the days that they live in the land which thou gavest to our fathers. Moreover, concerning a stranger that is none of thy people, Israel, but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, for they shall hear of thy great name, and of thy strong hand, and of thy stretched out arm, when he shall come and pray toward this house. There's a thought here as to God's intent in blessing and protecting his children. For God blessed his nation in order that they might live in their land with a heart for him, and that their heart should cause them to be kind and loving and reach out to others. He wants them to be a lighthouse for people to see the glory of God shining out from them. He wanted them to be kind toward the strangers who come to the land because they were drawn by God, because they saw the love of God lived out through his people. Simple thing, really, but one that we and they sadly often failed in. See, this is our mission. We are to, as Jesus said, let our light so shine before men that they may see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Many see grace as a license to get a ticket to heaven and then live like hell, as if we're not God's family. But Scripture puts the line of that thought. Paul said that grace will lead us to a new master, to serve God with a heart of love. John in 1 John said, if we have a hope of his return, of his coming to us, we will purify ourselves as he's pure. He says that we will look out for the orphans and the widows, the naked and the hungry in his name. And as we do that, maybe, just maybe, those strangers will be drawn toward the one we say we serve. Or as today's scripture said, they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm. Live so that Jesus Christ shines out. Let the love of Christ be your motive and the glory of God be your goal. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.